how you can import additional maps in Vasco da Gama that comes with GPS information I've showed you in a former tutorial. This time I will show you how to do it with maps that don't have any GPS information inside. But first I would like to change the base map. I will go here to maps and here in this first menu I will select instead of the classic set map I will select for this tutorial the blue marble NG. This is one of the maps that are available from Motion Studios and I will accept it and this map looks a little bit more like a satellite view and now I will turn the globe so that here this small group of islands, the Canary Islands, come into sight here and as I zoom in here on the island of Gran Canaria you see that pretty soon we are reaching the detail limit of this base map. That is pretty normal because the base maps can't contain every detailed information for the whole world. That would be a huge amount of data and that's the reason why Vasco da Gama lets us import additional maps so we can provide more details in only that regions we are need in our project. I have an additional map for the island of Gran Canaria. This is a satellite image of Gran Canaria with a transparent background and a soft border of water around the island. So this image I will import here in the map section. Import new map. I will select my image and now here we have the path and the file name of the map the cache directory and here below the map name for the selection list. Normally it's set to the file name and here we can expand it because this way it looks much nicer in the list menu. I will select OK and Vasco da Gama takes us directly to the editor where we now have to place and scale the map because obviously the map comes without GPS data and so Vasco da Gama has no idea where to place this map and at which sites. For the positioning we have several possibilities. The first one is with the left mouse button pressed we can drag our map around and using the eight handles in the corners and in the middle of the borders we can scale it and if we press the control button you can see that the map maintains its, its aspects, its ratio whereas if we don't press it we can, we can distort it and another method would be using the set of these four coordinates here below the editor window. Every one of these coordinates describes the position of one of the borders. So the north coordinate here on top defines the position of this border. The south coordinate controls the lower border and the west and east respectively the left and the right. And as you can see if I move one of the borders the coordinates change. Now I will scale down our island and I will move it more or less on the position of the Canary Islands and I will use here the map zoom to zoom in and the right mouse button to drag the map and now I will zoom in further and step by step scaling down our image and placing it on top of the island and now I can zoom in until the maximum map level 6 and now comes the tricky part because I have to place my map exactly on top of the existing one here and you can see my map is transparent. This is 
because the transparency here is set to 50% now I can make it completely visible and now the trick is to scale the map correctly so that it would fit perfectly in its place okay this is a good moment now to write down these four coordinates here on paper just in case you have to do the import process again since our map has a soft surrounding border we don't need the, uh, the alpha edge and so I simply accept with OK and Vasco da Gama now creates the map tiles I will skip this process now and now we can turn on our freshly imported map here in this menu accept with OK so now we can zoom in and see much more details of this island here in the south for example the sand dunes of Mas Palomas the holiday area of Playa del Inglés, the beach of San Agustin and on the right side on, of the island here the airport this gives us plenty material for cool route animations and if you are wondering if you have to place your map just exactly as I have done it in this example the answer depends on what you would like to show if you for example would like to show a route animation where you are traveling from one island to another by boat by ship or what else so you have to place your maps precisely because the locations and the distance between the islands have to be correct but if you would like to show only a route on this island Gran Canaria then really you can place your map elsewhere and if you place it more or less near the real location even the sunlight and the moon positions would be more or less correct and nobody w would take care to give you a feeling how Vasco da Gama acts with imported maps I will delete this map again here in the map dialog at the bottom I will select delete map here I will select Gran Canaria and then click on remove map and delete cache answering with yes and now Vasco da Gama has deleted our map completely I will import it again simply accept with OK and now I will leave the map just as big as it is placed here in the editor window and I will simply press OK now I will activate it again and we have to zoom out to see now Gran Canaria very big on the globe and now we are facing two problems and that's the reason why I'm showing you our imported map so big you see that Vasco da Gama wraps our map around the globe and it does a pretty good job but for our island this doesn't work very well and the second one and the second problem is that if our map is displayed so big we don't have any possibilities to zoom in and out because if we zoom in very soon we reach the detail limit of our own map and if we zoom out our island is very distorted so this way it doesn't work so I will delete the map again and I will import it now a third time and this time I will make it much smaller still much bigger than the original sites but much smaller and I will place it here somewhere between South America and Africa and now accepting OK you can see that the distortion of the island is much lesser now because the island is much smaller but still it is visible 
but now we have much more space to zoom in and zoom out as long as the continents on the left and on the right side don't come inside. So you should make your map even smaller to have more space around it and the same applies really to maps you have to place on land as long as your map is big enough so that the borders don't come inside in your animation it really doesn't matter where you place it and if you place your map near the equatorial line more or less about here then the distortion would be less because of the mathematical engine of Vasco da Gama so you can see depending on what you would like to show in your animation in your project sometimes it doesn't matter where you place the map just make it small enough that you have plenty of space around surrounding it and if it's an island like in this case just place it on water otherwise you can place it elsewhere